Okay, I think it's useful to know why tree traversals might be used. And I think an easy example, so there are lots of different reasons, but an easy example is for mathematical equations. So if you look at the above, you can use traversals to work out in what order you want to do the maths and depending on how your computer is working. Now, you should already, I'm not going to go through what all these terms mean. You should have already watched the separate videos on these by now. And if not, I'd suggest maybe this might be a good time to do it. Um, but in the example above, we've got three, six, five, and seven, and then the operators plus, plus, and times. Now, we can return this in whatever order we want, depending on the uh, traversal itself. So if we do in order traversal, we'll return it three plus six times five plus seven. So that's your infix format. That's your normal format that you're used to. If we do post order, okay, post order, you're gonna you go three six plus five seven plus and then times. That's your reverse notice uh, reverse polis notation format, or also known as postfix. Okay. Alternatively, if you did pre order traversal, you'll do times because you inspect first. Remember, you'll do times plus three, that says four, it's meant to say six, plus three, six, plus five, seven. Okay, and that'll be your prefix format or your Polish notation format. Sorry about that four, it should have been a six, but you get the idea. So you can start to see why uh, this is useful, especially when doing things like mathematical equations.